Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, drops right after the show started. That's how excited I was there. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night raw review. Raw Legends Night, ladies and gentlemen. What a fucking ending that was, fucking. I don't care if fucking smarts get fucking angry. I can't fucking wait. But here's the fucking problem still. Still fuck WWE and fuck the USC Network because, okay, I, I can't build the intensification because, like, it just ha fucking happened. You were going to read the title. So Goldberg returned in the main event. That's fucking awesome. But you cut the show off when he's still talking and do doing shit? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck are you doing? W First of all, yeah, it's WWE's fault because they have three fucking hours. You have a three-hour show and you still manage to get caught up by the USA Network. You have no fucking time to do a show right. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, seriously, why are you fucking running out of time? Stop fucking doing long bullshit segments with stupid wrestlers. How about that? How about stop having jobbers on the show? Stop doing jobber shit. You're wasting time. Just saying. You know what I mean? But yeah, fuck the USA Network. Like, you can just cut it off to fucking show us Stone Cold Steve. I understand, yeah, I love Austin, but Austin wasn't even on the show. You say you show us his stupid, well, it's not a stupid show, it's cool, but you have, but yet yeah, that show managed to kill Stone Cold still by having him get stunned by cringy fucking Lynch. Thank you fucking much. You're gonna cut us, you're gonna cut off Goldberg on the show. When you're fucking showing us Goldberg returning and he push, pushes McIntyre, but you're going to fucking show us the, uh, uh, an old stu stunning Steve Austin show. You know what I mean? What's it called? Straight up Steve Austin. You could just like show it after. Like you've got nothing better to watch, uh, to show other than, you got, you got nothing else better to watch. What are you going to show us? Modern Family? You're going to show us fucking goddamn Law & Order SVU? Don't get me wrong. I do watch a little bit of SVU. You know, I love that stable motherfucker. But like... You cut off fucking Goldberg on the show. I know Smarts could be fucking pissed with Goldberg, but I don't fucking care. I can't wait. I can't fucking wait. Goldberg versus McIntyre at Royal Rumble. And I don't fucking care. Have Goldberg win the fucking title. I really don't fucking care. It's going to be fucking awesome. Fuck, you're going to probably have... If you're going to have Goldberg and McIntyre fucking the Royal Rumble and maybe Goldberg winning the title, who's he going to fucking face? I don't know. I thought fucking Goldberg was going to fucking face Reigns or fucking, you know, not at, Wrestle, not at the Royal Rumble because he might face Owens. But it might have been fucking, what, WrestleMania. But if you're doing this, I don't fucking care. Goldberg hasn't been WWE Champion. He should be WWE Champion. He, he, he never was considered the actual WWE Champion. I don't fucking care. Give him the fucking title. Goldberg, motherfuckers, hell yeah. I don't fucking care if you fucking smart to complain about Gold. At least, you guys got to at least admit, this is going to be interesting. Who's calling me now? Trap queen, I'm not trying to fuck you, okay? Uh, listen, so, it's fucking trap queen, ladies and gentlemen. But here's the thing. Fucking, Goldberg and McIntyre to be fucking interesting, you know what I mean? Never seen it coming, and it's gonna fucking, it's gonna be fucking badass, alright? It's gonna be fucking badass. I'm happy how the show ended. But I will admit, fucking, when I when the show started, I thought it was cool with Hogan, but then you fucking made me irritated, you made me fucking cringe with Miz and Morrison. Oh, uh, you go oh, look all the legends, though. Who, who's here? Uh, correct, or more like, how about you, you? Are we gay? Correct. That's you guys are fucking gay. Holy shit, that was so cringeworthy, by the way. Grab your soda, Styles glass, water, fuck, drink my new tea. I understand this is not gonna be a long term thing, but hell, if it's gonna at least give us a little good thing about wrestling, then fuck it. Cheers, motherfuckers. Oh shit, oh shit, cheers. I don't fucking care. Have Goldberg fucking unify the titles with Reigns at WrestleMania. I don't fucking care. Do that. It'll be fucking amazing. Because what the fuck's gonna fucking be good? Or heck. If fucking for some reason Edge actually wins the Rumble, I wouldn't mind seeing Edge and, and Goldberg at WrestleMania. It would be fucking badass. Holy shit. Well, who's gonna face Goldberg? I mean, who's gonna face Reigns at WrestleMania? I don't know. Fucking triple threat. Battle of the Spears. Fuck it. I don't care. Just bring all the old timers. I don't fucking care anymore, man. I don't care. I needed some nostalgia tonight. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. After when Hulk Hogan was on the opening fucking segment of Raw, I literally got irritated. I got angry. Because how fucking bad the show started, it, like, kind of happened in the first hour. But then at least 
a little bit of hope was restored, I would say. Probably. You know, just probably. I know Sparks could be fucking angry, but I don't fucking care. I know I keep saying that. Because, like, watch. All the Sparks are getting, are getting pissed about Goldberg. They always hate Goldberg. You know what I mean? But at least fucking... You know, God bless Goldberg. The guy's gonna get all the shit. He's gonna get all the fucking shit by all these fucking Smarky fans. You know what I mean? And he's gonna fucking take the... He's gonna try to help this company, you know what I mean? He's gonna take all this shit just to entertain all you motherfuckers. You know? Ah, oh, God, it's gonna be fucking... I don't care. <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, man. It's gonna be... I, I, already Smarts are complaining. So this old hag again main eventing WrestleMania and all the that, blah, blah, blah. They bust their ass. Motherfuckers... Don't complain. You guys were fucking saying that Sting should be AEW champion and all this shit. You guys are hypocrites, okay? Y'all fucking hypocrites. Don't complain about fucking Goldberg. Shut up. Go fuck yourself. You just... What do you want? What do you want to McIntyre? You want him to face Sheamus? That literally, that's what's gonna what's gonna happen. You want you guys want to see McIntyre versus Sheamus? I don't think that's what anyone wants, by the way. At least with Goldberg and McIntyre. As much as I don't give a fuck about McIntyre, even though he's growing on me, I will say this. And he actually fucking killed it tonight with Keith Lee tonight. Keith Lee will be a future world champion. But he needs to be a mid-card first. And he needs some mid-card titles. This is something, at least being some intrigue, motherfuckers. And you guys gonna fucking complain about Goldberg hogging the spotlight? Well, guess what? What do you think? The ratings are going down, you retards. You wanna see McIntyre versus fucking Sheamus? You wanna see Sheamus versus Keith? You guys wanna see all these shitty jobber matches? Oh, Dolph Circle should be facing Raven at WrestleMania. Oh, uh, Sami Zayn. Oh, Keith, Big E. Oh, no. No. Fuck off. Fuck off. Shut the fuck up. You're gonna get. It's gonna be something good. I bet you. Fuck it. There's gonna be a lot of fucking fans. It's gonna bring some mainstream attention. A lot of you fuck. A lot of fans are gonna fucking at least be gonna care. They're gonna fucking care. Just because you smarks are be are just, you know, you're pretending to fucking hate Goldberg and shit. Because you guys, you know, you guys always like your indie fucks and whatever the fuck. You guys think for some reason wrestling is better today than the added era. You, you, like, you, like, fuck it. Doesn't mean fucking it's not drawing and shit, okay? It's just not draw. What do you fucking think? The, the reigns are going down. I understand this is not going to be a long-term thing. Because Goldberg's going to probably be here till WrestleMania. But you have to admit, it's going to bring some treatment. People are at least fucking care. What do you expect them to do? Vince wants money, okay? He's a greedy motherfucker. He wants money. What do you think? It's a business. Without making money, how the fuck is business going to survive? Just saying. You need some fucking mainstream attention. Wrestling is not stream mainstream anymore, unfortunately. What do you expect? Because of all these shitty fucking wrestlers who are jobbers. That's why they need to do this legend shit, even though half of it is cock tease bullshit. But, like, you have to admit, it's going to bring some mainstream pe attention. People are going to fucking care. You Look at me. I'm caring. A lot of actual wrestling fans are going to fucking care. You, at least you're going to bring back some old fans back. And I'm telling you, you're going to actually have new fans going to give a shit about Goldberg. And going to even care about McIntyre. That's good for McIntyre. Okay? And I bet you, the guy's not going to just job in like that. It's going to be a competitive match. And I bet you, honestly, as much as I don't give some McIntyre, it's going to be a good match. It's going to be a good match. Watch. It's going to be fucking high and ten action there. It's going to be intense. It's I, Just think of it. It's going to be amazing. I think I have full belief it's going to be amazing. It's going to be good. Oh, man. I just can't believe I have to fucking see this shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Fucking Raw starts with fucking Hulk Hogan. He was talking about fucking iPhone. And then he picks out what you're going to do. Man. You know, um, it was cool. Hulk Hogan, you know, opening segment. But unfortunately, that was just a cock tease. Because literally after that, you show Miss TV. Miz and Morrison. And that was the most cringiest fucking segment I ever fucking seen. Um, Miz and Morrison getting thrown up by the New Day. And they were dating. Oh, New Day talks or New Day talks. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, it was cringeworthy. Then you got Teddy Long coming out, which, you know, cool. T Teddy Long. You know, you could just state it obvious you wanted a tag team match. But instead, he cock teased us with saying... 
Miz or what? what? The I'm guessing, yeah, fucking Miz and Morrison will go one on one with The Undertaker. And then obviously Undertaker's not there, so why you said it? Are you trying to make us angry? Of course, Undertaker's retired. But the fact that you try to give us a, a sort of glimpse of. Oh wow, Undertaker's gonna be there. He's actually gonna wrestle someone? This is not the shit you do back in the day. Imagine if fucking Vince McMahon was fucking saying that, oh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, you're going one on one against Hulk Hogan when Hulk Hogan is literally on the other show. You think that makes sense? That makes no sense at all. Just saying. It doesn't make any sense. What sense will this make now? We know Undertaker's not gonna be there. Undertaker's retired. What are you doing? Like, what are you fucking doing? I just, I understand, oh yeah, going back to the Goldberg shit. I understand wrestling is fucking dead, but you have to admit that the Goldberg shit, at least he's restoring some a little clips of fucking goodness about wrestling. You have to admit, this is like all we have now. Why, that's why you need to bring part-timers like Goldberg. Other than that, wrestling is going to fucking die. Watch. Don't give, just give us our Goldberg and watch. You can have all your indie bullshit you want and watch. Wrestling is going to be dead in like a few years. Just let us enjoy our fucking part-time. Just say, I, I need that closure, guys. I need that closure. But in reality, they're going to save wrestling. But yeah, fucking this whole Undertaker shit, you, you cock tease us. It's irritating. You make me irritated. What the fuck are you doing? Um... But yeah, they, it books a tag team match, of course, but it was just, it was dumb. I'm sorry, it was dumb. The whole segment was dumb. Also with Miz and Morrison, it was so gay. Oh, is the legend gonna be here? Correct! More like, are you gay? Correct! Fucking fags. The New Day defeats Miz and Morrison, whoop you fucking do. Then Randy Orton says he couldn't burn Alexa Bliss, so the, yeah, it was cock tease also last week. He didn't actually burn Alexa Bliss and show mercy. Uh, Randy says he's gonna walk to look for some legend to remind him why he's the legend killer. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Angel Garza runs into the legends Alicia Fox. How is Alicia Fox a legend? Sergeant Slaughter and Tatanka and Mickey James. And then he gives Mickey a, ro a rose. And Sergeant calls Garza a maggot. I guess that's cool. It's alright. I will go on to say this. Like, before the main event, this Raw was not, like, was literally worse than fucking Raw Reunion and fucking the, uh, tw the 25th anniversary. But I will go on to say this, because of Goldberg, it was, a it was a surprise, by the way. You didn't advertise Goldberg be there. This was a pr surprise. So if anything, I'm not saying it was better than R Raw Reunion or the 25th anniversary still, but at least you made it a passable Raw. Raw was actually decent tonight. And sad. you know what's sad about this Raw? This will be the best Raw in a long time. This has been the best Raw in a long time, and this will be probably the best Raw of the year already, unfortunately, because there's nothing going to be good. Uh, if Goldberg's going to be there, who knows? Maybe Raw would be something but what like besides Goldberg what's gonna save wrestling you know just saying but god bless Goldberg I know you sparks are angry you guys like fucking but you have to you cannot deny the facts you know facts don't care about your feelings just saying but you cannot deny the fact that Goldberg people give a shit about Goldberg I know you sparks don't care because again you guys are the smarts you guys are on the internet you guys just belong on the internet you're fussing on the internet that's what you do that's what smarts are for they're just on the internet and shit like that. They're just fat, neckbeard, mongoloids. Just like, oh, I can't believe Goldberg. He's going to fucking face McIntyre. Yeah, you guys were saying that McIntyre was boring anyways. So what, what do you want? What do you want? Just saying. AJ Styles defeats Elias again. A rematch that no one asked for. You know, when rematch happens, it's like, let's say a match is fucking awesome. Like Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar there. Or fucking, you know... People who actually give a shit about a match, like, if you do a fucking awesome match like Brock and Austin, they do at WrestleMania, then they feud again at the Backlash. Who asked for this match? No one gave a fuck about last week's match. Styles is continuing to rumble, then Jackson Reicher tried to hit a guitar to Styles, then gets stopped by the almost the big black motherfucker. Um, yeah, that's alright. Riddle calls Big Show the big bro. Yeah, gay bro, whatever. And then fucking Orton runs into Big Show and tells him that his cure is over thanks to him. And then fucking Orton, like literally Orton fucking has like uh, a Big Show and like he choked him or something, but he didn't, but it's like he's laughing. But just basically he knows that Orton knows what he's trying to do or something. He's just trying to have a match, which would have been cool. I don't mind a Big Show match, honestly. I won't give a fuck. Because it's like, compared to any, any of these matches, why would I care about any other matches? But I'm kind of glad what kind of Orton match we got tonight, but it's whatever. It's cool. 
Uh, Peyton Royce and Lacey Evans, basically the attractive bitches, uh, defeated uh, Ric Flair Jr. and uh, Asuka. Then the Ric Flair Jr. orders fucking the actual Ric Flair to get out or wear something. I feel bad for Ric Flair. Every time when Ric Flair comes back, you embarrass him. What the fuck did Ric Flair do to you? Did he, what, because he went to TNA? Come on, I love Ric Flair. You like, I love Ric Flair, man. The guy fucking, he gives his all in acting. The guy can fucking act. The guy was like, he was crying. I love Ric Flair, man. God bless this guy. Like, this, you know what's sad? This guy's gonna probably die soon. And he's giving his all. Come on, leave the, give the guy some glory, man. God almighty. It makes me sad. Come on. Hulk Hogan, Jimmy Hart runs into a, a McIntyre and Sheamus, and then from back to McIntyre, said, or Orton says, You know something, brother? You remind me of yourself. Why? Why? <laughs> and Jimmy's heart apparently reminds of, uh, uh, it's like Sheamus. What? And then fucking the end, you got McIntyre and Hogan doing the post, and you're like, What you gonna do where, you know, McIntyre and Hogan won't swallow you? Which, I don't mind. It's whatever. It's kind of cool. It's kind of, you know, it's nice, I guess. It's a little cheesy niceness, you know? Uh, then Riddle defeats Bobby Lashley by a roll-up. Whatever happened to Bobby Lashley being a, a like, the black Brock Lesnar? Why is he losing to jobbers? And he's the U.S. champion. What the fuck is going on? Holy fuck. Oh, yeah, this was fucking sad. Mark Henry is, like, in a scooter now. I, 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 did he lose his leg or something? I, I'm sad. Like, what are you doing? What happened to Mark Henry? I was sad when I saw this. So Mark Henry was in a scooter. Orton goes to him, says he's entering the Royal Rumble and shit like that. And then he fucking mocks Orton, uh, Mac, uh, Henry being a scooter. And then tells him that, um, yeah, he needs to pedal away or he'll get attacked and whatever fuck. Yeah, very sad about Mark Henry. Dana Brooke defeats Shayla Baszler uh, after, I don't know, the fucking She-Hulk fucking is a dumbass. And I don't know, she gets beat up by the attractive cunts. Well, actually one of them is attractive. Well... I'm sorry, what am I saying? Manu is no longer attractive anymore. The reason why, because her hair cuts short. I'm sorry, it kills the vibes, yo. Unless she grow her hair back, I would call her attractive, man. But she's not that attractive anymore, man. Plus, like, she look kind of plasticky. Just saying. She grow her hair back, maybe I'll, you know, she's cool. But I'm not a fan of Dana Brooke, she's a She-Hulk. Um... Uh, Arwin, yeah, fucking RRS, Molly Holly, and Ric Flair are talking, uh, are talking together, but then Orton, Orton shows up. We got a little bit of evolution talk and all that stuff. We got, like, you know, a little storytelling. We got them talking about what happened months ago, what happened to Orton Flair. It was cool, you know what I mean? And then you see fucking Flair being sad again. Like, this guy is getting his fucking all. Like, fucking Flair, and he's gonna die soon. I don't want it. I'm not trying to say that. But it's like, come on, he's been having heart attacks and shit like that. This guy is giving his all, and you're making him look like a fucking dude. Like, fucking, you're making him, like, fucking, you're making him look weak. Come on, what's going on? <laughs> it's like, seriously. I feel bad for Ric Flair, like, seriously. But I'm liking what Orton was doing tonight, also. And speaking of Orton, Orton defeats Jeff Hardy in a old-school fucking Hardy Orton match, which I didn't mind. I loved it. They recreated the oh, 2008 rumble fucking ma like finish where you know chef hardy did twist fade to the rko it's kind of badass the match was fine this was actually a decent match tonight you know what i mean you want to talk about legends night this is something that serves well for a legends night so i i i like it i like the match tonight then the lucha house party talks to melina it was cool seeing melina uh then the lucha house party defeats the hurt business really you're getting jobbers beating... I understand they're black jobbers, but, like, come on. They're supposed to be, like, imitating a badass and they're fucking... What are you doing? I don't care. Like, uh, whatever. Um, then fucking you got Tori Haas, Tori Wilson, and Nikki Cross, who I'm gonna lie, she's cute herself. You know, it, when Nikki... At least, thankfully, Nikki Cross, she's not doing dark shit. I'm telling you, you gotta have women be hot, not fucking be dark with characters like Alexa Bliss you're doing. Um... They're fucking talking. You got fucking Angel Garza trying to get Rose. Then fucking... You got fake... Oh, you want to see uh, all these plastic celebrities? Like Cardi B, Kim Kardashian, where the fuck? Fucking he go, Angel Garza goes in the room. It was the boogeyman. It was kind of funny. Then fucking got R2 winning the fucking 24-7 title back. He fucking hops on with the fucking, you know, chicks. He got, he, they like getting black, motherfucker. They like getting black, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, they like that black cock. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's going to get a two-for-one session. Um, the main event, 
Uh, Drew McIntyre defeats Keith Lee. Good fucking match. I was surprised. The match was actually fucking good. Good fucking match. It was badass. You know, I'm telling you, Keith Lee could be a future world champion. It's not his time. He should be like a mid-card champion first and then become a mid That's what wrestlers need to be. They need to be mid-carders first, then develop themselves to be an upper mid-carder, win the Rumble, win the Money Bank, and then they become champion. Just saying. And the main event, yeah, main event segment, Goldberg comes out, challenges McIntyre, says that he doesn't respect the legends, like... He said, like, which would confuse me, but then he says, oh, you know, he respect them, but, like, you know, you say you're better, you'll be better than them, and shit like that. And then fucking, it was like, fucking, Col Goldberg can talk. Oh, you motherfuckers said like, Goldberg can't talk? Go fuck yourself. This guy was actually fucking talking. He could talk, has more charisma than all these motherfuckers. This guy has everything that your fucking vanilla midgets don't have, okay? He's better than fucking Daniel Bryan. Go fuck yourself with Daniel Bryan. If you guys fucking start with these yes shit uh, in the rumble, go fuck yourself. I fucking hate you guys. God oh my thank, thank God the Thunderdome is happening. Thank God if anything the pandemic, the only good thing about this pandemic is only smarty fans. Thank God. But you have to annoy these, you have to fucking see these guys on the internet and shit like that. But yeah, so Goldberg, he challenges Drew McIntyre, uh, said he doesn't have respect. Doesn't have respect, motherfucker. Don't got respect, Jack. And then fucking he pushes McIntyre. Yeah, after fucking he calls him a dad or whatever the fuck. Which He's a dad that could beat your ass, you know what I mean? But sadly, the show uh, fucking ended like that. Wait a minute, I want to see if I have time still. Please tell me I have still time. Um, I don't know if how much time I'm losing. That's why I'm kind of talking quick. But yeah, fucking decent show. Decent show, all right? But like, so yeah, fucking, you, the USC Network cuts him off. Like, come on, I understand the show. Like, you got to stop fucking doing long shit. And you know what's fucking sad? This will probably be a decent, your only decent show of the year. Okay, but yeah, overall, I'm actually kind of glad. I'm, I'm glad what happened. The main event surprised me and shit like that. I love that Goldberg return, and the match was actually good, the main event match. So, I'm surprised. So overall, decent show. A little bit of nostalgia didn't hurt, but like, then you, uh, then I was starting to believe before Goldberg came back. It was like, wow, this 